Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm Lumana Banana and this is Mass Effect 3. In the last episode we came to the Citadel and um, yeah, well, as you can see, there's kind of a war going on. Oh crap, a war going on. Uh, we have lots of problems here I would say. Because Cerberus is trying to seize control of the station. Okay, we can't hit this stupid nemesis back there. So let's wait for it to pop up and then let's try and get it. That should do it. And that should get the other one. Great. So as I was saying, Cerberus has taken over the Citadel. And it seems like they have a traitor or multiple traitors inside the station. So it could be Udina, of course. I mean, we don't know. Could be Udina. It seems like at least he's trying to do something about, you know, humanity's power and stuff, so... Who knows if he hasn't, hasn't got a good offer by Cerberus. Ah, damn it! They're, try they're killing ci civilians left, right and center. Shooting this... -like effect from their palms is giving out bizarre dark energy readings. Dark energy readings, eh? It must be unit direction. Shoot their back. Ah, darn it, I ran right into the grenade. Let's try and get some better cover. I need to shoot them in the back. Okay, I will try. Trying to stay back here for now. Ah, you bastard. At least I shot this assault trooper. Oh, a grenade, huh? You wanna play this game? How about... Really? Alright, let's do it that way then. Give me my sniper rifle and reload it, please. Ah, damn it. Well, at least it was faster here. Punch this son of a... I see you. I saw you over there. Oh no, I still see you. Nope, that didn't hit. Well, when in doubt, use a shotgun. Still have a nemesis right around this corner, so let's just move in with Adrenaline Rush and blast straight through their head. I mean, look at this. <laughs> that That's that's the bullet that we just shot. Or the projectile, or whatever. Yeah, I did. I, like, I give a damn. That was way worse than I would have hoped for. Damn it. Look at all the dead civilians. Fucking hell. But yeah, we don't really, we can't really say that Udina is behind this, right? I mean, looks like it, but we don't know. And also, Liara still has this weird glitch. I mean, I, uh, maybe I haven't seen it, but look at her, yeah, look at her outfit. It's, it's, it looks like um, that she has the permanent effect of a shield pylon on her now. I mean, just a graphic effect, not, not really better shields or anything. Oh, Chavik, you, you got me worried there for a second. I almost just blasted you. Scared me. Some credits, always good. Well, we got... we made our way through, we got through, that's not too bad. Snap, crackle and shock. Defense solutions. Oh yeah, well we could use some, some of those now. Let's get rid of someone's following them. Someone with a sword. Great. Yeah, great. I think we need a not that one, we need something with a little bit faster fire rate. Oh I shouldn't have. Well, didn't even deal any damage.
That dealt some damage, or not? Not that much, actually. I'm worried. So now we're dealing dealing actual damage to it, which is good. But actually, not that much. Let's see. Do we have anything? Yeah, we could warp it. And I actually would like to switch to the other gun. Awesome. Oh yeah, that's why I love high damage weapons with this. We hijack the Atlas mech. That should make this section way easier. Oh, good night, you stupid little assault trooper. I mean, what did what did you think? Uh, sadly, uh, sadly, this is most likely the end of our Atlas exploration. Don't know if we can take it through the door. Uh, it can't even move through here. That seems rather... Well, bad if you try to take over a station and you can't use your... Well, heavy weapons or your ar armor actually against... Yeah, we can't use it through this door, damn it. But yeah, you can't use your armor everywhere. Damn it. I'm in the shaft. Hang on. This will be a fast climb. A grenade would have been nice. Could have just thrown a Tell grenade that inside. Assassin hasn't reached the council. He's trying, but I'm making his elevator stop on every floor. Nice. I found our friend. Kill his elevator. There's a power conduit beneath it. Why didn't we get of that? Course. Well, he will catch up, I'm pretty sure. Where? Oh, I should have... Damn it, I saw it just a tiny bit, little bit too late. I was just about to click uh, okay, the, the heel. Ah, darn it. Oh well. At least it's not a huge time Tell loss. The the Let's take the Tempest. Gotcha. So, Let's see him catch up now. you stay Let's over here, I'll take this side. Incoming phantoms. And right about now we're going to slow down time. And now we're going to use lift. I think that was a way better strategy. Could have. It is done. Trying to f take him for an, uh, fall in the now. Bad news. Is there any other kind? That hitman jumped to another elevator and he's overridden my controls. He's on his way up. I can't stop him. I'll handle it. Not again. Where do we have okay here this time? All right, we shot them this elevator before they could do anything. That's not too bad. Can we go for a quick save? No. Okay, that's hung. I see them. Jump. Jump. Okay. What's that noise? 
Servers took out the shuttle. Everyone back to the elevator. Move! Shepard, what's going on? Shepard's blocking our escape. She's with Cerberus. Just hang on. I got this. Everyone calm down. I can explain this, Caden. Come on, Shepard. Gun drawn on a counselor? Kinda looks bad. We don't have time to negotiate. You've been fooled, all of you. Odin is behind this attack. The Salarian Counselor confirmed it. Please, you have no proof. You never do. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. We've mistrusted Shepard before, and it did not help us. We don't have time to debate this. We're dead if we stay out here. I'm overriding the lock. I better not regret this. You won't. Udina, step away from the console. To hell with this! He's got a gun! Never liked the guy anyway. Council back and cover that door. The door. Bailey. Made it as fast as we could, Shepard. Looks like you uh, took care of things. Something's not right. You said Cerberus was targeting us. Where did their soldiers go? Cerberus was right here, but they beat feet into the Keeper Tunnels when they figured out we were coming. Sorry, Counselor, I'll say it plain. Shepard just saved the lot of you. And you have saved my life twice now, Shepard. I owe you both a personal debt, and one on behalf of Palavan. Well, uh, the reason why I shot Odina there, I don't trust him, I don't like him, and I'd rather, well... Get rid of this guy in any in any possible way, really. That's why I gave the counselor job to Anderson, right? But he resigned because he didn't like the paper pushing, which I um, well, which I can understand. And in this case, touring counselor, I'm just doing my job. Come on, you know me. I've saved this, I saved you multiple times, and I'm just doing it over and over and over again. You don't owe me anything, counselor. Times like this, we all stand together. Commander, do you have any idea why the elusive man would do this? No, I don't. But I plan to find out. All right, people. Principals are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it. Weird. That looked like a glitch. Things didn't go as planned. The Council's still in control of the Citadel and Udina's dead. Udina was expendable. Now what? There are other plans in motion. I'll fill you in when you return. I'm surprised you let Shepard get the better of you, Ling. It won't happen again. Hmm. We'll see. We looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors. Yeah, well, he's shown his proficiency in, you know, the smoke and mirror business. But I'm pretty sure we'll meet him again. He likes to fight. He'll show up again. Pardon me if I'm not reassured by that. 
We can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. I guess he didn't trust that Adina's plan would come together. That reminds me, we got your friend Thane into work to Memorial. He's in for surgery. Apparently, uh, there's complications. Do you think he'll make it? I caught that they didn't have much drill blood on the Citadel. I notified his next of kin, his son, Koliat. He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. We're pretty sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus, if you want to see him. Uh, I'd go now. I'll get on it. Oh, and you can tell him the Salarian counselor says he's a hero. It just, uh, I don't know, make things easier for him. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully he pulls through, I mean. So, <laughs> that needs to be scratched off the wall. We need something else over there, pretty sure. Just... This is a problem, boss. Cerberus has changed their ciphers, and our code breakers aren't getting anywhere at the moment. I've got our best teams working in shifts on it, but ensuring Citadel Systems' integrity is just going to take time. If we can get some of their field encryption tools, maybe sample ciphers. I understand. Keep trying. Okay, maybe we find some some of those. And uh, yeah, look at this lively background over there. Hmm. Those those guys seem to be enjoying standing around. Really. Uh, anyway, I, I think we'll just take a look into the Spectre's office, and then we're going to visit um, Thane, of course. I mean. He, he, did a, he did a good job today, he did his proud. Let's take a look, we have nothing over here, so that's that. Requisitions... Oh, we could go buy the heating stabilizers. And Rosenkopf Greaves. Do we need that? Power recharge speed? No, not really. But what does this do? So is there in Connolly or... Col colony? of Sinoqual, maybe, is uh, experiencing a sh power shortage that threatens their egg incubators. The colony will be forced to evacuate unless they improve the heating stabilizer, uh, unless heating stabilizers will be found, loss of a colony could amplify difficulty of getting Solarian support for the war effort. Yeah, let's just buy that. A thousand isn't really, doesn't really do, do is that big, um, Big of a harm, big harm. That does it. It's okay. We can spend thousand credits. Okay, that's uh, just don't use fancy word if you don't know how to use them, right? So yeah, there we My go. My wife was just sent back to active duty, and I'm about to get shipped out too. I was told you might be able to help me. Of course, you're a Neota spouse, correct? I yes. How did you know that? We keep identity information on all permanent Citadel residents engaged in formal relationships with Asari. That way, should anyone require diplomatic aid, we can ensure prompt assistance. That's wonderful. Then you can help me send my daughter back to my wife's family? I, I'm afraid, however, that might be a bit difficult. Okay. Uh, nothing that we can do over there, though. They hit where? Damn it. How are we supposed to predict the moves of an enemy we don't understand? Diver to... Do we have any AI-enabled fragments of Sovereign? Any hmm. Reaper code I can analyze? No? Well, then they'll keep outmaneuvering our fleet, and the sorry world will keep burning. Yeah, that's bad, but... Dick, look at this. I mean, c -Sec sh is showing some force over here. And this uh, sorry strategist needs our help, so we might try and help him if we can. Bunch of... Interesting, a bunch of people are trying to get into the human embassy? Weird. Well, maybe they kind of distrust us now that Udina is trying to stage a coup, but... Well... What can you do? You know, I never trusted the guy, really. Uh, we wanted to go to Huerta because, you know, Thane was or is still in surgery, so... Let's try and see. On metagel and synthetic blood, and we don't have enough volunteers. If we could get the rings of a loon from the Salian Nebula, we could declare a cultural crisis. People would have to listen. No, they're not just symbolic. The Asari revere a loon. She wore these rings after learning medicine from a fame herself. 
She was like a Dalatress for your people. If we displayed her rings, we'd get more Asari support in the hospitals. Alright, sounds good. Maybe we find those rings. Got a lot of stuff to do now, and damn, if they if they weren't understaffed by now. Welcome to Serta. I think we buy that. Do we need another Thank one? Coming to Serta. How can we help you? Ten grand. Yeah, let's just spend it. I don't care. Be safe. We could use a little bit more medigels sometimes, so why the heck not? So maybe we found some. Didn't we find something that we needed to bring over here? There's got to be something. I don't know what Cerberus was packing, but we're going to lose this patient. Without a new treatment plan, we're stuck, and I can't think of anything beyond what we've already tried. I know, but I can't think of anything else. Can you? <laughs> Didn't she just say she can't think of anything? And then just a second later, he says, hey, can you think of anything else? But we're getting a lot of side quests, and that's not too bad, I'd say. I mean, everything that helps us gain some resources is welcome. I understand Palavin is very busy, but this is one of your own generals. He was stabbed with a poison blade by a Cerberus soldier during the attack on the Citadel. We can't identify the toxin. We're barely keeping him alive right now. It's some form of neurotoxin. If you could look at our charts... Of course, I understand. Even a general is just one man. Good luck. Interesting that they won't help, but okay, maybe we can. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? It's not what we do. Why, why? Can I help you? I'm looking for a drell named Thane Krios. Well, we have a drell, but not under that name. He was injured, stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right. It's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Hmm. Krios is in the final stages of Keppel Syndrome. At its worst, Keppel Syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. And he lost a lot. Now, they've given him transfusions, but frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one other Drell on the station is a match, and that Drell is in with him now. We did all we could to help him through surgery, but his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. Commander, <clears throat> I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. You've done more than enough, Thane. That assassin should be embarrassed. A terminally ill Drell managed to stop him from reaching his target. I'll pass the word along. There's something I must do before it gets worse. I must... Mistress of inscrutable depths, I ask forgiveness. Kalihira, whose waves wear down stone and sand. Kalihira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. Koliad, you speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I brought a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? Kalahira, this one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. 
Guide this one to where the traveler never tires. The lover never leaves. The hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalahira. And she will be a companion to you as she was to me. Say she. The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. Goodbye, Thane. You won't be alone long. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. After we lost Morden, we also lost. We also lost Thane. Oh, freaking hell. I mean, yeah, we knew he was terminally ill. We knew he didn't have much time left. But. Damn it. That. What, 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 what was the name of that guy again? Lang? Oh, he's going to pay for this. Oh, he is going to pay for this. I don't even know what we should do. Maybe set him on fire with incendiary ammo or something? Oh man, this is going to be great. We can save some now and enable ourselves to save more later. We cannot do that. We swore an oath to help the sick regardless of their economic situations or their places in society. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat before. And we will run out of supplies. Have you seen the projections the administration center made? I have. The situation is going to get worse. What's your point? We can't deny the facts. If we prioritize them, some of our patients are in a much better position to survive. If we take care of them first and ration our supplies, we can save some now and enable ourselves to save more later. We cannot do that. That is an we interesting... Um, hmm, my mouse just got stuck. Uh, but that, that is an interesting dilemma that they are in right now. Uh, and... Uh, I'm blocking you, sorry man. But... Uh, just go, go a little bit away there to uh, think about it while they're still going to go with the same arguments. But yeah, it's an, inter it's an interesting dilemma that they have. I mean... Yeah, the Salarian is kind of right. Uh, the oath is to help everyone, regardless of their economic and uh, social, uh, well, situation. But the humans also right, because well, you need to do some triaging, and as as cruel as it sounds, in case of an emergency, you what you usually do is to help, well, to kind of. Uh, sort the patients into <laughs> different categories of, you know, people who have a high chance to survive, medium chance to survive, low chance to survive, and are basically dead. And uh, you usually help those who can survive with a higher chance first. So I think we we have to go for the triaging here. I, I really do not like it, but that that's just reality. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We help our patients. Everyone makes sacrifices in wartime. You'll make yours sooner or later. I'm sure I will. But I'll do it without betraying my oath or my patients. It's not that simple. If we aren't careful about this now, we'll end up losing everyone. Then we'll find a way. Look, we have more fortunate patients, right? Yes. And I hate to say it, but the fortunate ones have far better survival odds. <laughs> and more credits. So we ask them for donations to get more supplies. For those without credits. What? Are you saying what I think you're saying? That's... You know, that, that actually might work. Yeah, that is an interesting idea. Uh, I mean, asking them to pay for their survival is not really, an in, not really that ethical either, but, you know. I mean, it's kind of like... Uh, I have no clue what's it called in English, though. You know, when the, the Catholic Church... Uh, asked for money to kind of 
Um, well, pardon your sins. I have no clue how this is called in English, though, so please forgive me. But I think you you know what I what I'm talking about. Hot water and everything, and that's when Neira came. Neira was another huntress on your ship. Yeah, a friend. I I wanted it to be more than that, but she had a, a medical condition. It's okay. It's in the file. The farm girl calls into me that another Asari is here. I thought the shuttle had gotten back early. I come out in a towel and and Neira walks through the door. But it wasn't her. Not anymore. Not anymore? Hmm, interesting. I think we're trying to to piece together the story of this um Asari soldier, right? Uh, in any case, I think we are mostly done over here and uh Spectre status recognized. Please yeah, cool. select the destination. Uh, we need to go to the purgatory because we have those heat exchangers. I think we have to hand them in over here. Now arriving at maybe or maybe not. I don't know where we met that Solarian. Good. Concussion's almost gone. Hmm. When I heard you were injured. That was stupid. I should have ducked when that wall came down. Something good has come out of all this though. Got new equipment. Sent me a set of Vortex armor. Man, summoning supplies should mess that one up. Oh, I've heard those are pretty good. It's great. I'd only be safer inside a tank. That's why Vortex gear costs more than I make in a year. Yeah, great. So we need to buy that then. I I think I'll just cut oh. Good, maybe we're we're going to get your wisdom when we're around, you know. Well, in any in any case, as I was saying, I think it's a good place to cut the well, cut this episode right here, stop this episode right here. I might run around in between episodes trying to hand in these two quests that we have and you know, buy maybe buy uh what you call it, this thermal pipe or something like that that Adams wants and you know hand in this automated turret schematics and stuff and you know the heat unit stabilizers and so on and so forth so yeah you, you might might miss something but it, it most likely is just you know me running around and yeah tell tell people hey we found your stuff in any case, if you like what you saw, then please consider pressing the like button it helps me out a great deal and I hope to see you next time thanks for watching and as always Auf Wiedersehen.